What is up guys, Lynn Ray here. Uh, just want to do a quick little continuation video from my last vlog entitled, Should I Live in My Car? I uh, just want to show you all. I've got a house now, got a nice comfortable place to lay my head. I no longer have to sleep in my car. I'm six foot five, 240 pounds or so. And sleeping in a standard size car sucks. Uh, it's great for you know, driving around, commuting, going across the country and things like that, uh, which I have, I guess, kind of done. Um, but um, not really good for sleeping in, uh, especially long term. And so I decided to get me a place and uh, I'm enjoying it. So I just want to show you all the house, see what I'm working with. And without further ado, let's check it out. As you can see, this is my living room. I don't have a lot of furniture. I am, I, I am a minimalist, honestly. Um, I don't require a lot of things. I don't want a lot of things. I don't really need a lot of things. I, I traveled pretty much. Uh, I was kind of a transient person for the last few years and I just didn't need a lot of stuff. So I never bought a lot of stuff. So, but since I plan on being here in Utah, uh, for a few years, I do plan on purchasing a couch to put right there, coffee table there, and then a desk over here. I don't really watch television, so I honestly don't plan on purchasing a television. But this is my living room. And let's see if I can come around here. Uh, that's where I put my shoes. I don't wear shoes in the house. Um, I just, I don't know. I, I, uh, I, I used to live in, in Hawaii. I've been to Asia and a few times. and. You know, I just uh, I've, I've come to adopt that 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 principle. Not wearing shoes in a house, um, it's it's considered unclean, I guess. And so, I uh, I like that. And so I don't wear shoes in my house. So this is my living room. Or excuse me, my dining room area. This is where I spend most of my time. My little workstation here. Um, I spend a majority of my time here if I'm not in my bed sleeping. There's me right there. Boom. And uh, my kitchen. So here's the kitchen. I don't again. I don't require a lot of stuff. I don't even have a microwave. I warm up all of my food on the stove. I cook all my food on the stove. I try not to eat out as much as I used to. I, I realize that I'm spending so much money eating out. So I, um, you know, I try and do all of my work right there on the stove. And uh, moving on. Here's my, this is the storage room. Now, it's actually a washroom, but I don't have a washing machine and dryer. So I use it as a, um, just as a storage room. Keep my bike in there. My baby, she is down for maintenance right now, but uh, she takes up most of the space in there. And so this room honestly is primarily for the bike. Uh, I don't want to keep it outside. And so, and here's my bedroom. So this is the bedroom. This is not where the magic happens. No magic happening here. This right here is actually an air mattress. Um, since I've only been in this house for a very short amount of time, and again, I don't require a lot of amenities, I, uh, I've just been using an air mattress. I do plan on purchasing an actual real bed eventually, but not in a rush. And I, and I actually have a sleeping bag there, which is kind of kind of weird and strange, but. I don't, um, you know, eventually I'll purchase some real equipment, but for the time being, I don't really care too much about that. It's just me not entertaining anybody. So it doesn't really matter. And, uh, here's my closet. Again, I don't have a lot of stuff. That's pretty much it. I've got my folded up clothes, underwear and junk up there. Boom, same thing up here, no clothes. And uh, this right here is actually where all the real magic happens. The best room in the house. Oh, just got a text. And so this is pretty much it. Um, most important thing in here is that right there. That's called a bidet for you Americans who have never seen one of those. Uh, I honestly would suggest everyone buy one. It gets you nice and clean, TMI. But um, they use it a lot in, in Asia, uh, in Europe, South Europe, places like that. Uh, actually, some places it's actually required, uh, which I found out 
you know, while I was traveling. Uh, some places are actually required to have bidets. But uh, definitely worth the investment for you Americans who are watching this. Uh, I would suggest you go get one because they work very well. Once you use one, you realize how, how well it works. <laughs> so that's not like a spokesman for bidets. Uh, once you realize how well they work, uh, you will learn to love it and, um, and you'll use it you know, all the time or every time. <laughs> so anyways, that's pretty much it guys. Uh, so this is my place. I got a, got a place to live and I'm excited, you know, again, being such a, a big guy, uh, not really a big guy, but I'm a, I'm a taller, decent, nice size guy, I guess. Uh, it's very uncomfortable living in a car. So getting a place good for my back, good for my knees, and uh, yeah, I enjoy it. And so I'm liking the place. I like the neighborhood. Uh, this neighborhood is very quiet other than the kids. There are tons of kids running around playing. But, uh, you know, that's a good thing. You know, having kids running around playing uh, all the time is, is pretty much a good sign that, this, that uh, the place is fairly safe. And fairly safe and you don't have to worry about too much... Um, See if they can find me here. Uh, you don't have to worry about too much, you know, riffraff going on. Just a bunch of little kids running around and it's fairly safe. So anyways, uh, someone's texting me over here, but uh, I guess that's pretty much it. So yeah, I got a place. I'm excited. Uh, and uh, thanks for watching, guys. Like, subscribe, comment, and I'll talk to you later. Peace.